And now to Fort Meade, Maryland, where the sentencing phase of Army Private First Class Bradley Manning's court martial continues. After being found guilty of 20 charges of espionage, embezzlement, and theft on Tuesday, Manning could face up to 136 years in prison for leaking more than 700,000 classified diplomatic cables and battleground reports to WikiLeaks. Whether Manning will serve more than a century in prison depends on if the government can prove that these cable gate leaks caused significant harm. Members of the military have made an argument that it did in the past. Take a listen. Do you think that this endangers the lives of American troops, these kind of leaks? Uh, absolutely. Not just American troops, but it also endangers the lives of uh, other individuals that we've engaged uh, in, our, uh, in our overall efforts. Foreign intelligence agencies, our enemies, are going to be going through these line by line, all these cables, to find out what we knew, when we knew it, who could have given that information, which people and which governments could be cooperating with us. This puts their lives at risk. If somebody is cooperating with uh, the federal government and their name is listed in an action report, uh, I don't think it's a stretch to believe that that could potentially put uh, a group or an individual at great personal risk. But according to the general who was in charge of investigating WikiLeaks, that just isn't true. Yesterday, a key government witness may have given the defense a big break. Retired Brigadier General Robert Carr, who headed up the task force investigating the leaks, testified that he found no evidence of an intelligence source killed or even harmed as a result of Cablegate. Carr's second-in-command, John Kirchhofer, also testified, but he was equally unable to confirm an instance of death and focused instead on potential harm. Now, today, State Department official Elizabeth Dibble described the, quote, horror and disbelief that accompanied the release of the diplomatic cables. However, she, too, did not demonstrate any instances of harm to either individuals or to U.S. foreign relations in open court.